What's going on everyone, Omar here, and today we'll show you how to balance any of the RS3 or RS3 Pro gimbals in less than 3 minutes. My video is straightforward and to the point, and if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button for more camera gear reviews. Omar here, and let's get started. <laughs> If you're interested to check the difference, user experience and features of each gimbal, I got a full review for the RS3 and RS3 Pro gimbals. Check the card upright or the link down below. Balancing the new gimbals is quite similar to the old ones. First of all, attach the battery, the mini tripod and put it on the table. Now get the gimbal plate and attach it to the camera. Here I'm using Sony A7 IV camera and 85mm prime lens. And because I got a smaller cage, I can attach the camera directly to the big plate without the need to use the small quick release plate that comes with the system already. Slide the camera backward to the gimbal and lock it. Unlock the roll axis. Now roll it 90 degrees and lock it again. Next, unlock the tilt axis and we have to balance the camera facing forward. And to do so, unlock the camera plate and slide it forward or backward until it's balanced. You can also use the sliding knob for more precise results. And lock the plate once it's done. Next one, we have to get the camera balanced facing up. Unlock the tilt axis knob and slide the camera forward or backward until it's balanced. And make sure to tighten the knob again. Now the camera should stay in any position you leave it at. That's how you make sure your balance is doing well. Now back to the roll axis. Release the axis lock and loosen the roll knob up here. Now slide the camera left or right until it's balanced. Tighten the roll knob once you're done. Next up is the pan axis, which is the last one. Unlock the pan axis and get the gimbal off table. The best technique in my opinion is to fix the gimbal mini tripod on your belly. You can do it differently if you wish. Now this is how the gimbal should look like when the pan axis is balanced. The camera should be facing forward and the tilt and roll axis should be leveled horizontally. Now loosen the pan up, slide the pan axis left or right until you see the tilt and roll axis are leveled horizontally. And once you're done, make sure to tighten the pan axis knob. And now your gimbal is ready to use. Please note, if you're planning to use whatever, the Raven Eye transmitter, the focus puller, or get the camera screen open to the left, make sure to fix them all before start balancing the gimbal. Thank you for watching guys and on this channel we make cameras, lenses and gear reviews. Thumbs up if you found this very helpful and bump that subscribe button for more. Omahi and see you in another one.